Well, we've learned that police quickly made an arrest. An 18-year-old is in custody for repeatedly stabbing a 14-year-old on an MTA bus. It happened during a fight yesterday afternoon. Meanwhile, city's top officials say although there have been fewer murders so far this year, the number is unacceptable, but it signals a hopeful trend. Baltimore police racing to what turned out to be a deadly shooting in the middle of the day on North Duclin Street. Last week, a father of four died from knife wounds while on the job on West Lafayette Avenue. Since then, the city has now recorded 100 homicides. Although the number of murders is high, city officials point out violent crime is trending down. There is a 36% decline in the number of homicides, a 30% reduction in non-fatal shootings, and the clearance rate to solve murders has increased to 70.1%. Police Commissioner Worley on 11 TV Hill credits more community cooperation. And they're calling and giving us more information than they have in the past. Mm. And our officers are out walking more foot, so they're getting they're getting out of the cars and they're walking more and they're getting to know the neighborhoods. And that's the way we're going we're gonna to get our way out of this, is not through arrests, it's through building community partnerships again. So if you act respectful, that can save your life. This is a youth works class, learning about photography, film, and jobs in that field. But the guest speaker also mixed in life lessons. The group We Our Us organized the event. The work that we do is having an impact. We Our Us is a collection of organizations addressing everything from food desert needs to housing. Their direct community engagement includes messaging, mediation, and protection. They have a beef hotline, similar to 911, to quell conflicts. We put ourselves in the line of fire, direct engagement, boots on the ground, door to door, block by block, street by street, just making the community a safe and decent place to live. Uh, in terms of messaging, we do community engagement walks where we are just bringing a message of hope, of inspiration, that all is not lost. Police credit this and other community partners for the drop in crime. Juvenile homicide and non-fatal shooting victims are down by 41 percent. Police are seizing seven illegal guns a day. Foot and bike patrols have increased by 66 percent. So the numbers are continuing to trend, but we can't let up. Back to the fatal stabbing of the 14-year-old, police identify the victim as Cortez Lemon and the suspect as 18-year-old Brandon Adams. Reporting live from Federal Hill, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.